Munster looking to go top of the pool, but also knowing that with a trip to Glasgow next week, a very promising start could unravel if defeat here follows that reverse at Welford Road. Racing, arguably the unknown quantity today, given their form in Europe this season, which has contrasted so much with last season's route to the final. But what can be said with certainty is that these men do not lose many games here. Their record, 24 wins from the last 26 matches played on this ground. It is one of those games that shapes a campaign and could well ultimately decide its qualification outcome. Scrum going nowhere. So Murray releases Rory Scannell, who's caught by Chavot, the half-back. Peter Omani's got out there quickly. Murray, it's Zebo. Simon Zebo <laughs> has done it against Racing again. A deflection comes to Scannell. Murray in quickly again. Omani to Stander, and Stander sees the space in front of him. CJ Stander is not going to be stopped. Conway's after it for more than a penalty. It's a try from Murray's kick. Penalty count now, 9-3, reflecting all aspects of the game. Eight. Here goes that monster ball, surely now. There it is. Scannell has had a superb game. Racing 92, very proud of their defensive form this season, so they should be. Chavancy, the replacement, puts a chip in behind, and that might work. Here's a chance, Imhoff is pulled back by Conway, might not be required. There is the score, the defence has been breached. Anthony Foley would be proud of this performance. Munster go top of the pool with two rounds to play in the game that had to be rearranged because of the death of Anthony Foley. It is another fitting tribute.